Only cost us a pack of smokes per man. I made my usual 20%, of course. So this big shot lawyer calls me long distance from Texas. I say, yeah? He says, uh, sorry to inform you, but your brother just died. Oh, damn, Byron, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not, he was an asshole. Ran off years ago, figured him for dead anyway. So anyway, this lawyer fella says to me, your brother died a rich man, oil wells and shit. Close to a million bucks. A million bucks? Yeah. Fucking incredible how lucky some assholes get. Jeez Louise, you gonna see any of that? 35,000. That's what he left me. Dollars? Yep. Holy shit, that's great. That's like one in the sweepstakes. Isn't it? Dumb shit, what do you think the government's gonna do to me? Take a big wet bite out of my ass is what? Poor Barry. Terrible fucking luck, huh? Crying shame. Some people really got it awful. Andy, you nuts. Keep your eyes on your mark, man. Andy. Well, all right, you're gonna pay some taxes, but you'll still end up with... Oh, what? yeah, yeah, maybe enough to buy a new car, and then what? I gotta pay tax on the car. Repair, maintenance, goddamn kids pestering you to take them for a ride all the time. Then at the end of the year, you figure the tax wrong, you gotta pay them out of your own pocket. I tell you, Uncle Sam. Puts his hand in your shirt and squeezes your tit till it's purple. It's the truth. The man never Andy. gets a break. That's the truth. Andy, you said Rich, get in yourself, Joe. Keep talking. No. Some brother. Shit. Hey! Mr. Hadley, do you trust your wife? Oh, that's funny. You're going to look funnier sucking my dick with no teeth. What I mean is, do you think she'd go behind your back, try to hamstring you? That's it. Step aside, Mert. This fucker's having himself an accident. You'll push him off the roof. Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35,000. What did you say? 35,000. 35,000? All of it. All of it? Every penny. You better start making sense. If you want to keep all that money, give it to your wife. The IRS allows a one-time only gift to your spouse for up to $60,000. Oh, shit. Tax-free? Tax-free. IRS can't touch one cent. You're that smart banker would kill his wife, aren't you? Why should I believe a smart banker like you? So I can end up in here with you? It's perfectly legal. Go ask the IRS. They'll say the same thing. Actually, I feel stupid telling you this. I'm sure you would have investigated the matter yourself. Yeah, fucking A. I don't need no smart wife-killing banker to tell me where the bear's sitting in the buckwheat. Of course not. But you do need someone to set up the tax-free gift for you. And that'll cost you. A lawyer, for example. A bunch of ball-washing bastards. All right. I suppose I could set it up for you. That would save you some money. You get the forms, I'll prepare them for you. Nearly free of charge. I'd only ask three beers apiece for each of my co-workers. <laughs> co-workers, get him. That's rich, ain't it? I think a man working outdoors feels more like a man if you can have a bottle of suds. It's only my opinion. Sir. What are you, Jimmy, staring at? Back to work! Let's go, work! And that's how it came to pass that on the second to last day of the job, the convict crew that tarred the plate factory roof in the spring of 49 wound up sitting in a row at 10 o'clock in the morning, drinking icy cold Bohemia style beer, courtesy of the hardest screw that ever walked a turn at Shawshank State Prison. Drink up while it's cold, ladies. The colossal prick even managed to sound magnanimous. We sat and drank with the sun on our shoulders and felt like free men. Hell, we could have been tarring the roof of one of our own houses. We were the lords of all creation. As for Andy, he spent that break hunkered in the shade, a strange little smile on his face, watching us drink his beer. Want a cold one, Andy? No, thanks. Gave up drinking. You could argue he'd done it to curry favor with the guards. Or maybe make a few friends among us cons. Me, I think he did it just to feel normal again. If only for a short while. 